there's a massive underwater sinkhole off the coast of Belize that extends 125 meters into the Earth's crust. It's called the Great Blue Hole. Scuba divers and snorkelers have been cruising the surface waters for decades, but few have dared to venture deeper and explore what lies beyond the blackness. In the winter of 2018, a crew from Aquatica Submarine started their descent to the bottom of the Blue Hole. Their mission was to create a 3D map of the sinkhole's interior. But along the way, they came across some common and not so common sights. As the crew started, they found the usual suspects, reef sharks, turtles, and giant corals. But as they pushed 90 meters, life started to vanish. The culprit was a thick layer of toxic hydrogen sulfide, spanning the width of the entire sinkhole like a floating blanket. Underneath that, there's no oxygen, no life. And down there, we found conchs and conch shells and hermit crabs that had fallen into the hole and suffocated, really. Past the conch graveyard and toward the bottom of the hole, around 120 meters deep, the team found something they did not expect. Small stalactites. The surprise gave scientists clues to the hole's ancient past. Stalactites can only form because water is dripping down stone. And so we know that this was a big dry cave and it was during a you know really prolific era on, on Earth. So there were probably lots of stuff living in it. Scientists think the cave formed during the last ice age, which ended about 14,000 years ago. That's when sea levels began to rise, and the cave flooded and collapsed, leaving behind the blue hole we see today. Researchers think that other marine sinkholes, like Dragon Hole in South China Sea and Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas, probably formed the same way. As the scientists continued down the hole, they found another clue to the past a light buildup of silt on top of the conch graveyard. The silt itself on the bottom is a pretty good record of all of the different hurricanes and storm cycles and glaciations that have happened. So we can see that right around the time of the Mayan collapse, there were huge, huge storm cycles followed by very significant droughts. As the team continued to explore the bottom of the hole, they found a two liter Coke bottle and a lost GoPro containing some vacation photos. But that wasn't all. We did encounter two of the probable three people who have been lost in the blue hole. Um, so we found kind of the, the resting place of a couple folks and we just sort of very respectfully let the, uh, the Belize government know where we found them. And um, everyone decided that we would just, you know, not attempt any recovery. It's very it's dark and peaceful down there. Just kind of let them, let them stay. But Scientists predict this hole won't be around forever to explore. Every day, waterfalls of sand fall into it slowly filling it up like an underwater hourglass. But as for now, we can still admire its beauty and study its many mysteries.